Hey guys, this is Dory and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to help you discover the most beautiful spots and to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So subscribe and welcome to our channel. Welcome back and thanks for joining us. In the last video, we left Tadoussac to go whale watching in the nearby town of Grand Bergeron. The whales are bulking up for their long voyage south and we were happy to watch the show. We then enjoyed the scenic drive along Route 172 towards St. Rose du Nord. After a short but steep hike, we enjoyed majestic views of the Saguenay Fjord from the town's lookout point. In this video, we uncover some of Quebec's hidden gems in the Saguenay-Lac-Saint-Jean region. Good morning YouTube! We are now in the Saguenay area. It is so epically beautiful. I just can't even describe. We were considering coming to this region. When you go to Tadoussac, you kind of take a hard left and go up the Saguenay River and uh, we had no idea it was this beautiful here. If we did, we would have done this. I mean, it would have been a no-brainer. It would have been an instant decision, but we kind of like, I don't know, it's it's something that we decided at the last minute and that's that's the fun thing these days about our travels it's that it's more spontaneous <laughs> melvin the drone is coming back now so we have this free camping spot that we found on i overlander and it's right on the saguenay river so the saguenay area it's kind of like a fjord the drive from tadoussac to saguenay is worth every minute of the detour from Tadoussac. I'm going to show you where we woke up this morning and I'm going to show you our neighbors. That's the Saguenay River right there. There's Story and Destiny. What a beautiful photo. So this is a little rest stop but as you can see over there there's a little a walking path that you can follow. There are garbage cans here and picnic tables and you're right at the edge of the water which is super cool. We want to take that drive back up from where we came because the drive in here last night was so picturesque but the problem was that it was really really dark. So we saw a gas station up there we're going to go fuel up because the price of gas was really awesome. And then we're going to do a little bit of B-roll on the way down here. So you can experience what we did Put when we were driving in here last in night. My hand, darling, say go. Keep your eyes on the horizon. Stay gold. All I need are your eyes, your mind.
9.52. This morning was pretty cool. Got up to a nice beautiful start. Now we're at a center near Saguenay. We found free showers. You don't come across that often. But yeah, we're gonna take a nice warm shower, especially today that's a little bit cold, so it's gonna be good to, you know, get the morale back up. Even though it's not down, but it always feels good to get a shower. It feels like you accomplished something. So far, things have been awesome. I mean, finding spots and showers have been sort of easy. And the funny thing is, the building where we have to go take a shower, people are doing early voting. So there's a big lineups going in and out. And yeah, we're gonna go there in our van life clothes, like, you know, all saggy and dirty and whatever. Who cares? It is what it is. No judgment here. And if people judge, they'll judge me for a few seconds, but they won't see me ever again. So it's a test. It's a test for me to stop caring about what others think. After taking our free hot showers, we got on the road again. The weather was a little bit all over the place. And after we got a nice break from the rain, we decided to stop for a quick lunch. And we stopped it at Plage Rigolet. And let me tell you, it did not disappoint. It's a recreation and tourism center with an open beach on Lac Saint-Jean. There's also walking trails, authorized RV parking, restaurant, washrooms, and a public park. Starting to head back to Montreal, but instead of taking the same way we took coming back up here, we're taking a different path. And it's right now we're on Route 169, and then it's going to merge into 155. It was a recommendation from our last uh, info center, and yeah, so far so good. It's been really nice. We're going along. Uh, what is this? Is it a river? A lake? Lake Saint Jean. Lac Saint-Jean, oh yeah, because we were just at Lac Saint-Jean Beach. Huge lake. Huge lake. Huge, huge, huge. But it was so windy and it was great, but it looks like it, things are lighting up a little bit. So after driving on the 155 for I don't know many hours or many kilometers, I found what was supposed to be a boondocking spot, but we're not too sure because first, dirt roads and if it rains it's going to get pretty muddy, so we don't know. And second, there's a little sign there that says no camping. However, on iOverlander, there was a couple of reviews and people were saying how amazing this spot was, how beautiful it was, and yada yada. And there's supposed to be waterfalls around here, 750 meters, so less than a kilometer. Anyway, we just finished dinner and uh, now we're doing our daily walk. Get some sort of exercise, you know, stretch the legs, get feet walking. Because sometimes driving in a car gets repetitive, gets annoying. It's important to breathe a little and go explore. That's the point. We just don't want to drive around, right? So let's see what these waterfalls look like. And hopefully it was worth the five, I think it was six kilometer on dirt roads detour.
Yeah, it's slippery. At least the trail is pretty easy to follow. Not sure where it leads. However, it does say no quads, but you do see quads tracks. So I'm guessing they don't monitor this very well and it's just a free for all. But according to iOverlander and their reviews, a lot of locals come here just to hike and see stuff. Sorry? Passerelle. Oh, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of marks like this, and I guess there's a lot of different hikes or paths that you could take might not be an interesting spot to boondock it is an interesting spot to walk fee still not worth driving six kilometers in that's for sure at least we got our walk in not a total waste because we still did stuff and i learned a very valuable lesson before you pick a spot make sure everybody agrees one thing that I think we have to work on is paying a little bit more attention to uh, unnecessary driving such as mistakes, missing a turn and then you just end up driving an extra 10, 20 kilometers for absolutely no reason. It's just that when you're full timing and a lot of those errors happen the bill adds up at the end of the year in kilometers and fuel and wear and tear and yada yada sometimes stopping and uh, just planning ahead might save you some time and money so not a loss because if I wouldn't have done this trip I wouldn't have realized this but <laughs> I'm gonna have six kilometers of thinking going back Anyway, sundown is in a couple of minutes. I don't know, is it seven o'clock yet? 6.55, so... Oh, seven o'clock, yeah. Sunset is 7.10. Wow, did we made a close. So, I don't know what kind of light I'll get, but we have a good idea where we're gonna um, sleep for the night. I think it's half an hour drive from here. I'm not sure, we'll have to see on iOverlander. start but we found a place it actually it's the third place we checked today and that's where we're crashing anyway not much light i'll catch you guys in the morning so yesterday after going to three different spots we finally found a spot honestly even though if it's near some sort of highway it's a little bit noisy but i guess we were so tired we didn't even realize it was noisy, we slept good. They got recycling garbages. And all the way at the end, they have bathrooms open 24 seven. We always want to stay under a light for security. We were the only ones here last night until this morning, a bunch of people showed up, so not so bad. And yeah, uh, let's look, quite little town. Now we gotta go run some errands. So find Wi-Fi find cell service wanted to take this occasion to wish you a very good morning and see you in a little bit
Hey guys, so yeah, right now we're about in Schoen again. We got here, I think it's called Parc des Chutes, but the dam is closed and you don't really see any waterfalls, you just see a bunch of rocks. But man, it still went on a nice five kilometer walk. I stayed behind in the van and I was editing two videos. So yeah, this pretty much concludes our Côte Nord and Maurice Nord trip. I mean, we were on the road for seven days exploring all this area. But for now, we're gonna be in Montreal. We're gonna be around Verdun. We're used to that area. We know we could sleep there. So I'm guessing we're gonna stay there for a few days, see a few friends, but we're gonna take you guys along. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. It does help us a lot. Definitely go ahead and subscribe because it helps us a lot in the long run. Until then, guys, I'll see you on the next one.